Okay, in today's video, we're going to be looking at some of the uh, plugins from Slate Digital. I have the Slate All Access Pass. We're going to be playing with the synth, and then I'm going to play with some compressors and stuff. They're installing right now, so I'm going to pause the video, and we'll see how they look like inside Studio One. Okay, I'm in Studio One now. So let's put the Anna synthesizer, which comes with the Slate All Access Pass. Let's put that in first and screw around with this and just get some uh, cool ideas going. And we'll add more stuff. What's Callisto pad? I'll turn on the MIDI so you guys can see what I'm doing here. All right, let's use this. I don't know how it's gonna turn out. I have no agenda here, just picking stuff up out of the blue and just seeing what happens. So let's record something. Well, I usually do 120 because I'm just too lazy to change it. But let's change the tempo. How about, let's go down to like 80 maybe. 84. All right, good. Here we go. Two, three, four. All right, let's use that. It's nice and pleasant. I am one. I am one for pleasant things. All right, let's go for another Anna 2. Chuck it in there. Let's open up the browser. Let's go to bass. And what's cyber bass? It's an arpeggiated bass. Let's just hear how it sounds. All right, let's use that. I think it's cool. I think it's pretty cool. And here we go. Chord. Two, three, four. Oopsie. I, okay, I got to arm the wrong. I arm the wrong track. Did I say oopsie? I take it back. Here we go. quantize that and all right let's bring in another Anna since we're on an Anna roll here and let's go to bells and what's bell out of hell all right let's hear some of the sounds while stuff's playing I'm gonna loop it just for Okay, I liked the last thing I played, so I'm going to just do some retrospective recording here. Click this, it'll pull up everything that I played. I liked when, how it was going, like right around there. It was looping while it was doing it. Damn. It was looping, so I don't think it it looped all the stuff I was doing. All right, let's try it again. That would, that would have been nice, but let's try it again. Here we go. Turn off looping this time. Good enough. That'll work. Let's quantize it. All right. I have an idea now. Just let's just chuck a little bit of a piano in. So let's go into Personas plugin. Let's open up Presence. And let's pull in a hard piano. And do like just a little 
something like that going on up top. size that baby and let's uh, check our levels I think I'm clipping the crap out of this guy that's not too bad let's check our limiter on and just bring the threshold to zero and let's see how hard we're hitting we're, we're actually pushing the performance is, is clipping a little bit so, I'm not sure if we're able to freeze tracks in Studio One. I think this is the equivalent of freeze in Ableton. All right. So, we... Uh, and that preserved the original track too. So what I basically did is I selected all the tracks, I right clicked and I said convert them to audio tracks. And then you could see it, there's your performance meter down here. When it plays, it's butter. And you could get back to the original track if you want, I think by right clicking and transform to instrument track. So none, nothing is lost. But what we need to do now is we got to chuck in some drums. So let's bring in Groove Agent because I'm liking Groove Agent. It is in part of the Steinberg set of plugins. I highly recommend Absolute by Steinberg. It's just beast as far as um, sounds and kits and stuff. I love it. That's interesting. But well, let's play a pattern with the, with this kit and then change the kit if needed. Here we go. Good. And here's what we recorded. All right, let's chuck that hi-hat in there. Here we go. Two, three, four. Oops. Let's do it again. One, two, three, four. All right, let's quantize. And let's maybe mess around with some kits. It's a little too reverby and, and bass. I'm gonna turn off the metronome by clicking C because that it's just annoying in the background. All right, now this is cool. I like this kit. And why don't we now mess with what I was talking about earlier in the Steve, with some of the Steven Slate stuff. Steven Slate, say that three times, ten times fast, five times fast. Steven Slate stuff, Steven State stuff. St Dude, that's a, that's a tough one. Steven Slate stuff. If anybody records themselves saying that ten times fast without any audio manipulation, I'll give them a free course at Doll Junkie. Hit me up in the comments. All right. Um... So let's go to inserts, and we got the groove agent. So this is essentially being our master bus for the drums. And let's see what we got in VST3 here, the virtual mix rack. And let's see what kind of goodness it installed. Now, I am not an old school console dude. I don't know how, like, the real, the, the sounds of a lot of these vintage compressors. So I'm learning for the first time here. And I think this is how we get to this stuff. Yeah, it looks like it. So uh, let's just hear how the drums sound running through this and go from there. Here's the DB for the bass. Here we go. Okay, that's cool. What about here?
All right, this is a compressor. All right, I'm just going to turn looping on. Let's see what this compressor does. So we got the input here, attack, release, output. Let's just crank this output. All right, it's got nothing going on on the ratio. Put four to one. All right, now it's doing some gain reduction. All right, let's hear how this sounds with all the Steven Slate stuff off. Bypass. Okay, let's hear how this sounds now. That's with it off. That's with it on. You know, it doesn't matter how it sounds when no other music is playing. It only matters how it sounds in the mix. So let's turn it on, all the other instruments, and hear how it sounds in the mix. This is with it off. This is on. All right, so it's a little too much. I think the, the, the mix in itself is bad right now because um, the instruments are just not... Um, properly oops what did i do oh let's open that this and this there we go all right so let's just mix our instruments first and then we'll we'll mess with that plug-in because the instruments are a little not mixed properly <laughs> That's actually a good intro. Let's turn on the arranger. I know I'm going a little all over the place, but this, that's what happens in music, man. There's no perfect way to do it. So let's do the intro without this lead going. And then let's highlight that, hit the letter D to duplicate it. This will be the verse. And the verse will have track one going. So let's just, we can move that whole clip. Here we go. Okay, I'm going to let this play, and I'm going to adjust parts of the Stephen Slate plug-in bundle while it's playing to just get the sound I want. So let's turn on Groove Agent, or go to Groove Agent track. Let's open this up. Let's turn it on, and let's just play with some knobs here. All right, I think that sounds good. And what else was I going to do? Was I going to do something with vocals today? Um, yeah, might as well. Well, let's do some vocals. We got about seven minutes left before we hit the twenty-minute mark, which is why I like to keep it. It's, it's about as much attention span as I have. I'll sing something, and then let's use Melodyne and just screw around a little bit. So here we go, audio track. I have no idea what I'm going to sing. Didn't even think about it. Just decided two seconds ago. Here we go. <clears throat> Check one, two, testing. Check one, two, testing. All right, here we go. <clears throat> Let's do that again. Here we go. What is this song going to be about? I'm looking at my speaker. Speakers? That's terrible. <clears throat> MIDI. I'm a MIDI freak. Doll junkie. Doll junkie. Here we go. Doll junkie. I'm a doll junkie. Doll junkie. I'm a doll junkie. All right. I'm getting warmed up. I'm getting warmed up. Here we go. That was terrible, but I needed to warm up. Here we go. Don't laugh. Don't laugh at me. Here we go. Doll junkie. Doll junkie. Doll I'm such a dog junkie. 
dog junkie. I'm a dog junkie. Dog junkie. I'm a dog junkie. Yeah, yeah. Okay, see the end. It all paid off in the end. All the out of and stuff. It paid off in the end. The end was not bad. So let's hear what we got. Dog junkie. I'm a dog junkie. And let's put Slate on there and mess around. I think that's why I wanted to record vocals. I wanted to hear how Slate virtual mix track, mix rack sounded on vocals because um, I need practice on that. So what's better than practice? What, what would be better than practicing in front of you guys and learning along with me? Junkie. I'm a dog junkie. Dog junkie. I'm a dog junkie. Yeah. Junkie. I'm a dog junkie. All right, not bad. Um, I would love like a good vocal doubler. I don't think that's in here anywhere. Let's see what we got over here. Now, these are mainly compressors and EQs, which look so cool, but... I have no idea how to really, <laughs> which ones to use and what sounds they give. But this, this sounded much better. Let's just solo the vocal track. Dog junkie. That's on. I'm a dog junkie. Here's off. Dog junkie. I'm a dog junkie. All right. Sounds a little more compressed and crisp with it on. And it just sounded better in the mix, to be honest. But let's chuck, uh, let's chuck some effects on here just to make it sound a little bit better. So go into Personas. Let's put a room reverb, and let's put an analog delay. And hear how the vocals sound now. Dog junkie, dog junkie, I'm a dog junkie. Let's shorten the delay a little bit, the feedback. Dog junkie, I'm a dog junkie. Yeah, yeah. Dog junkie, I'm a dog junkie. Dog junkie. I'm a dog junkie, yeah, yeah, dog junkie. I'm a dog junkie, dog junkie. I'm a dog junkie, yeah, yeah, dog junkie. I'm a dog junkie, dog junkie. I'm a dog junkie, yeah, yeah. Okay, it's not terrible. So um, I don't think it's terrible. You might think it's terrible. But let's, let's duplicate the track complete. And let's Melodyne this one. So let's edit with Melodyne. We've got two minutes left. Uh, ch -ch -ch. Gosh, I'm nervous now. The pressure's on. Edit with Melodyne. I think I have the latest Melodyne installed on this. Please, please, please. Please, please, please. Melodyne is not compatible with Studio One. What? That's not cool. Well, I guess one thing we can do to do a quick transpose, but it's not going to sound as good as Melodyne. You can uh, just select the clip over here. And if you look in the inspector, you do have a transpose here. So if we just go up to fifth, let's just hear how this sounds. Dog junkie. I'm a dog junkie. Dog junkie. Maybe lower this guy a bit. Dog junkie. All right, let's hear how it sounds in the mix. All right, let's take the two audio tracks or the two vocal tracks, which are right here. I'm gonna right click on them down, right click on them down here, right click on them here. Okay, on this little picture. It depends where you click on a mixer um, fader. It'll give you different options, but I want to just add a bus. And what a bus does is it just makes both vocal tracks just go into one separate uh, fader track here. This way I can adjust the volume of both of them from one and I can add any effects I want or I could raise volume of both of them. So let's just play with that a little bit. Dog junkie. I'm a dog junkie. Dog junkie. I'm a dog junkie. Yeah. Yeah, All right, I actually think it sounds pretty cool. Let's hear it from the very beginning and call it a day. Dog junkie. 
I'm a dog junkie. Dog junkie. I'm a dog junkie. Yeah, yeah, dog junkie. I'm a dog junkie. Dog junkie. I'm a dog junkie. Yeah, yeah, dog junkie. All right, good. So, I hope you got something out of that video. Uh, I know we we used some stuff. A lot of you guys like when I use Just Persona stuff, but I have Steven Slate and I'm paying for it, so I wanted to try it out and start using it. Mainly, I do my discovery and creation stuff on these videos. I don't do a lot of it. Like, when I turn the camera off, I don't just keep playing. I kind of go do something else. So, um, I learn through these videos, and I hope you guys learn along with me, but... um. Steven Slate All Access Pass, I think, is only like 10 bucks a month or something. So it's got cool stuff in it. If you guys have any tips on how I could use it better, hit me up or what some of the compressors, some of the compressors and EQs, how I should use them. I am down for that. But anyway, this was a quick little song. It sounded pretty good in the end. Hope you learned some stuff to do in Studio One. See ya.